Hey creative YouTube people, I've got a nice little tutorial here, very short about something in uh, Illustrator CS6 that I think is pretty cool. It's a feature they added a while ago and it's sort of going under the radar. But if you're somebody that likes to create PDF documents, um, they have a new feature. I mean, Adobe, I think Illustrator CS5, CS4 down, didn't really allow you to do this. Um, it's always sort of been a little bit of a frustration in the sense that you can't create multiple tabs like you can in Photoshop for example and then export all those tabs into one unified PDF document well you can now do that with the CS6 and Illustrator and CC Adobe Cloud CC as well so you know in this case I'm going to just create a new document here uh, obviously give it a title um, I've got a letter layout um, eight and a half by eleven actually make it portrait and I've got five artboards right so I'm assuming I'm gonna have five pages in this document so I'm just gonna click OK and when I do that, Illustrator will lay out these five sort of pages from here. Now I can go and, you know, create my different pages and put this information in it the way I want to do it. Um, you know, alt, drag, obviously copies, in case you're wondering. But if I am, let's say I'm running out of space, now I get to the end, how do I add a sixth page? Because if I go to File, Edit, Artboards, Document Setup, and I try to edit my artboards here. There's no way for me to actually increase. Like I just had a section where I can go, you know, six, and that is now missing. So, oops, what to do? I, if you click on artboards, edit artboards, also there's no way to intuitively just add another page um, because it feels like edit artboards. Obviously, it feels like okay, I can I can edit my artboards, but I can't add artboards, which is exactly what you need to do so if you you know you can see this little snapper that sort of puts into place this, this, this is in 1080p so you may have to increase your resolution if you're watching it but this little snapper and if I go to the snap corner there and then drag out I can actually draw my new artboards and make sure they snap into place so that they're the same size you can accidentally go over and then it's not the same size so be careful you don't do that but that's really how you do it. And I can scroll down here and I can add additional artboards one by one, uh, however, however many I need, and you know, grow my document um, uh, like that. So just to prove my point, if I go out and say, you know, file, save as, I'm going to put this into a PDF real quick. Um, and let's just call it test.pdf. I get my standard PDF menu up. In this case, I'm just going to leave the defaults and say save PDF. And here is the file that I've just created. It opens up in Adobe Acrobat for me. And if I click on my pages icon here on the left, you can see there's all the different pages that I just created in Illustrator. So it's very cool. It's very simple to do it now. And it's a great feature that they added a while ago. Um, you know, and I just wanted to share. All right, guys. Thanks.